Okay, so we're not in Chiang Mai, we're in Bangkok, Thailand, and more specifically, right now we're at Chatachuk Park. And if you're thinking the name sounds familiar, well, you'd be right. You've probably heard of it before, and you may have even been to the very famous weekend market, Chatachuk Market. What a lot of people don't realize is that right next door to the market is actually one of the best parks in all of Bangkok, possibly Thailand for that matter. Okay, so why am I here? Well, today I'm going to show you something really special. It's actually my favorite Thai celebration, and it's called Loi Katong. Literal translation, floating basket. Well, not exactly, but close enough. So basically, Loi Katong is a festival where Thais come together to, well, Thank the goddess of the water. The origins of the festival itself are somewhat blurry. It was adopted into Thai culture hundreds of years ago, and it's based on a similar Indian festival. The festival takes place on the 12th full moon of the lunar calendar, which this year happens to fall on the 19th of November, 2021. Now I'm gonna hand it over to Jo, and she's gonna tell you a little bit more about what Loi Kratong is actually all about. So a kratong is the name for the little floating lantern that you'll see everyone put in the water. Traditionally, they're made out of chopped banana tree trunks wrapped with banana leaves, but you can also buy them nowadays made out of ice cream cones or bread so you can feed the fish while it floats. On top of your kratong, you'll find a candle, two incense sticks, and they're usually decorated with lots of beautiful flowers. So what you're meant to do is cut a little bit of your hair or a bit of your fingernail Pop that on top of your kratong, along with a coin to say thank you, light the candles and incense, and push it out into the water. Right, now we need to go kratong shopping. Come on, let's go. So we're just heading out of the park now. We're gonna go to Chubba Chuck Market. Should I, get, should I get yellow and pink? Okay, yeah. Ao nung ka. Put tiny it noy ka. Kapun maka. I got that one. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. Whoa. Man, they're so cool. Sorry, ka. Um, ao nung ka. 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 So we just got two kratongs. Now we're going to add a little bit of our hair and that coin onto it before we set it out onto the water. We decided to get two kratongs this year. This one's more traditional. You can see the banana leaf. And this one is made out of fish food. How cool is that? I'm just pulling out a bit of my hair. So the thing you might have noticed is this celebration isn't as busy as the ones you might have seen pictures of online, and that's intentional. We stay away from the main celebration here and come to the smaller ones because they're more family orientated, there's just less people here, that's just far better for us. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little look into a traditional Thai festival and we'll see you in the next one.